we want to write the vector with a magnitude of eight and a direction of three degrees in component form. This is the component form of a vector when the initial point is at the origin and the terminal point is at the point x comma y where x is the horizontal component of the vector and y is the vertical component of the vector. So let's go ahead and sketch this vector on the coordinate plane with the initial point at the origin. The angle between the positive x-axis and the vector would be three degrees. And because the magnitude is eight, this vector would have a length of eight units. So this would be the horizontal component of the vector. And this would be the vertical component of the vector. So we'll call this x and we'll call this y. And now because we have a right triangle, we can solve for x and y using trig equations. For example, cosine 30 degrees is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So we have cosine 30 degrees equals x divided by eight, which I'm gonna write as x divided by eight equals cosine 30 degrees. And then the sine of 30 degrees would be equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So the sine of 30 degrees is equal to y divided by eight, or we can say y divided by eight equals sine 30 degrees. Notice if we multiply both sides by eight, we have x equals eight cosine 30 degrees. Multiplying by eight here, we have y equals eight times sine 30 degrees. And these are actually the formulas that we use to find the component form of a vector. X is gonna be equal to the magnitude times cosine theta, and y is equal to the magnitude times sine theta. Well, using our 30, 60, 90 right triangle, here on the left, cosine 3 degrees is equal to square root 3 divided by 2, and sine 3 degrees is equal to 1 half. So we have x equals 8 times square root 3 over 2. This simplifies. So x equals 4 square root 3. And then since sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 half, we have y equals 8 times 1 half. Of course, this simplifies as well. So we have y equals 4. So the component form of our vector, which we'll call vector v, is equal to 4 square root 3, comma, 4. Now that we've shown how to use right triangle trigonometry to find the component form of a vector, given the magnitude and the direction, Let's discuss the formulas that we can use to save some time. If we want the component form of vector u, and we have the magnitude and the direction, x is gonna be equal to the magnitude of u times cosine theta, and y is equal to the magnitude of u times sine theta. And we actually used these two formulas in our first example, but we derived them using our right triangle trigonometry. We can also write the component form of a vector in this form here, where we have the magnitude of u times the component form of the vector where we have cosine theta comma sine theta. So for our second example, we'll actually use the formulas given here. So because the magnitude is 14 and the direction is 135 degrees, we would have x equals the magnitude 14 times cosine 135 degrees, and y is gonna be equal to the magnitude or 14 times sine 135 degrees. If we take a look at our first example, Notice how this was our second step once we formed the equations here using our right triangle. Now to make sure we find the correct values for cosine 135 degrees and sine 135 degrees, let's go ahead and sketch this angle on the coordinate plane. We'll be in the second quadrant. So our reference triangle would be here. Notice how the reference angle would be 45 degrees. And because we have a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle, we can label the two legs one and the hypotenuse square root two. But because we're in the second quadrant where x is negative, this leg will have to be negative one. Y is positive, so this leg stays positive one. Notice how this means the cosine function value is going to be negative. So we'll have x equals 14, which I'll write as 14 over one times cosine 135 degrees using our reference triangle is going to be negative one divided by square root two. We should recognize by now that if we rationalize the denominator, 
this would just be negative square root two divided by two. So we have 14 times negative square root two divided by two. Of course, this simplifies. So x is equal to negative seven square root two. And then y is gonna be equal to 14 over one times the sine of 135 degrees is gonna be equal to positive one divided by square root two, which is also equal to square root two divided by two. So this simplifies as well to positive seven square root two. So the component form of the given vector we'll call vector w is negative seven square root two comma seven square root two. I hope you found these two examples helpful. I'll leave you with the formulas that we use in our second example.